Hi Capricorn, Merry Christmas, and this is going to be your art channel message and tarot reading. I channel messages through art and anything creative. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cross watchers are welcome, and I always like to say everyone is welcome because there's no rules to messages. If you see it, you see it. If you want to watch it, you can watch it. Okay. I started drawing a weird looking machine. It looks like something that has to do with threading or sewing. There's a big roll of yarn or thread in there. It's like we sew things for fun to create, but we also sew gaps, holes, rips, and tears. Things that need to be fixed or healed is what I got. Sewing here equals healing. This is a little TMI, but I was seeing stitching human flesh as well. Like what surgeons do to heal a wound. Capri Capricorn, you are healing wounds both, for both physically and, well, the ones no one can see. I heard secret wounds. <laughs> I'm drawn back to what I said about machine. Machine operated. I'm seeing a factory. How machines do all the work for you. Instead of having people do it or like people aren't used for labor. It's all done by machine now. A lot of things are fast paced in our society. A lot of things are easier. It's like you're waiting for the machine to fix you up. There's this element of wanting to be fixed, thinking others can fix you. Not even just living humans, but items, things, machines, robotic things. I'm getting technology like phones, tablets, social media. This could be an addiction to validation. It's no secret that social media can be toxic. Like studies have even shown it causes low self-esteem in several different w different ways. I'm getting this scenario too where if so social media just ceased to exist, people would lose their minds and like not know what to do with themselves because they have nothing to rely on, keyword rely on. Like we would rely on a machine to do the work for us. We've all heard it before from somebody like, hey, imagine if we took this away, how would they do? How would they react? It's like an experiment. Like, how would, how would rats react if you took away their cheese? They'd probably get pissed off or go insane because that's their food. <laughs> it's like they'd be forced to do the work, AKA find self-love through introspection and self-validation rather than it being not organic or robotic. Ro robotic to me here equals not real or an illusion. So Capricorn, it's almost like your healing or your confidence is not completely real. It's not coming from the right place. And you're beginning to realize that. Like after something was taken away, after your, maybe your clutch, something you leaned on, could even be social media. You're like, wait, without this, I feel really horrible. And that's not a good sign. And you're beginning to realize that you have wounds that need, need to be sewn or patched up. But these wounds are invisible. How can a surgeon sew something that can't be seen? How can outside forces help you with something that only you could possibly understand? Well, I'm even getting you find out, like this is quote, like you find out who you are in times where you have no support. It's like, okay, let's say you have a person here that likes to do poetry. No one gives this person feedback. No one tells them they love it or that they should keep going. It might not even go viral, might not even get attention, but they still have faith in themselves. 
they still love to do it. It comes from the right space. You know what I mean? So what I'm seeing here is you're trying to sew or patch up like with the sewing machine you're trying to sew yourself back together but these are invisible wounds so no one could so no one could help you with it i mean obviously people can give a good word give words of encouragement but i feel like in the past or like on occasion you'd be like why can't why can't this fix everything for me why can't that person make me feel whole and it's like that person, that thing, nothing will ever make you feel whole if you're not whole on your own. And it doesn't mean you have to be, feel guided to say, like it doesn't mean you can't be sad sometimes. Not everyone's 100% okay all the time. I'm gonna pull maybe an oracle card to I always do that as like the heart of the reading heart of the matter sometimes I even know I don't even know what cards I'm going to be using because sometimes it can be so random to what I'm drawn to but okay I'm going to move this down let's see The Fates. She has stars covering her entire body. It almost looks like she's literally feeling her body. I'm getting like, you're feeling yourself. Or you're feeling... I don't know why I'm seeing someone like feeling their clothes and then they realize there's a hole there. Or like, you know that moment where you look at your clothing and it's like, wait, there's a hole in those. Those are my favorite jeans. Those are my favorite shirt. That's what this is. Like those stars are hiding. The holes, the gaps, the rips, the tears. But these can't be seen to just anybody. These outside things make you feel like a star, but if you were to take them all off, you'd still have work to be done or sewing to do. You know how sometimes, too, there can be, like, a bad sewing job? You'll look at the, um, seams, or, like, the, I don't know what they're called, but it's just done poorly. It falls apart easily. That's what this is. Like, it's like you're falling apart easily because the true work, I don't like saying work because it's not really work, but that's what people call it, so I'm calling it that now. True work isn't being done, so it's like you fall apart easily. You follow it, I'm getting you fall apart at the seams. But something here is at the work of fate. Maybe this was meant to happen. Maybe you need to address this. Maybe you need to love yourself. You're, looks like you're feeling. Also looks like she's embracing what makes her damaged or hurt. She's owning it. She's owning her skin. She's owning her insecurities, her imperfections. Trying to own you're trying to own your imperfections. Yang. It comes from you. Look, I'm thinking of like healing hands. That ball of light is coming from, looks like the same person to me. It's coming from her hands. She's making that herself. She's creating it herself like you can with sewing. You can create hats, shirts, pants, anything. And it, you can also heal. I was getting sewing equals healing here. So 
That's definitely what's going on. And look, this is number one. I'm seeing the magician because the magician is also number one. I always like to shuffle like this. Knight of Pentacles. Sewing takes a long time. Healing takes a long time. You know how some people say um, doing things fast and rushed doesn't guarantee it being executed the right way? But in taking your time, it takes a while to show it to people. It takes a while to finish it. And that's an amazing feeling. But also, the process, what goes into it, matters most. Oh, yeah, true happiness doesn't happen overnight. Creation. This new you doesn't happen overnight. Ooh, with the Five of Pentacles here, remember I said... It's the ultimate test when you have no support, when no one validates you. Like, what if social media just disappeared and everyone had to fend for themselves? Would this be you? Tagging along, not knowing what to do with yourself? This person looks wounded. This person looks wounded, but then here. This is praise. This is praise. This is, this is exactly what becomes, I feel like, addicting for you and addicting to in general. Bottom of the deck. Wow. Eight of Wands, but it's reversed. Don't know why that's still in reverse, but... And isn't that funny how that's the social media card, the communication card, and it, but it's in reversed? I feel like social media or technology, however you want to call it, this could be anything. I feel like it's being abused. You realized you were abusing it. You weren't using it to your benefit. If anything, it was making you insecure. Here, here's the Three of Cups, that's community. And the Wheel of Fortune. I see, this is weird, I'm getting that scenario again where I did say this, like, would you be falling behind if something, if something was taken away from you, would you be able to deal with it? And then I see with this, this is that person moving ahead with no issue. And then this is the one that's falling completely behind, not knowing what to do, not knowing how to handle it. But then over here, I did say something was taking a long time. Maybe your relationship with social media here is because you see people doing better than you or um, healing faster than you. And you think like, wait, am I doing something wrong? It's, like, it's almost like you're comparing your life to others. And it's making you upset and it's making you <laughs> feel like you need to work harder. And remember I said I don't, I don't like the word work. In regards to healing because that's not what it is it's a shift and it's a change in perspective you don't have to work harder you just have to work smarter you have to find what works for you not everyone is the same not everyone has the same triggers and I think that's something you need to understand 
I feel like it's something you're literally stepping into. With this too, it's almost, I feel like you look at others or within some sort of community in envy. It's like, oh, they seem like such lucky people. They get through cycle by cycle by cycle, almost effortlessly. But are they taking their time? Are they getting to know themselves? Are you self-aware? Is it man-made? Is it fake? Or is it real? With the yang here. I'm seeing that's creation. I'm gonna get one more oracle card to finish this channeled message. And that Knight of Pentacles is headed towards the Three of Cups. It's like they desperately want to get where these people are. It's like you're comparing your journey with others. It's like, how do I get there? I'm just Knight of Pentacles, so I'm not gonna go that fast. Do I have to? No. <laughs> these people might be celebrating over there, but you can still celebrate over here. And you can still be happy with where you are, with who you are. You can still find your light. I'm getting, I'm getting light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, what do we have for Capricorn in the future? Any advice? Anything extra? Here and now. Didn't, oh my god. Didn't I just say you can be happy where you are right now? Look, the past, future... For, for you right now, I think it's the future. You feel this pressure to, s to speed your healing journey. It's like, oh my god. It's like finishing a shirt or knitting something really beautiful and then going back and realizing you missed a stitch. It's like, oh, I gotta start all over again. Because I was trying to rush. There's beauty in the process. And I th that's what I think the moral of the story here is. like you are here and you should be proud of that you are this and look see remember I told her she's like touching her skin she's embracing her flaws I see that too as she's accepting that she's a few things to work on but that doesn't mean you need to put any more pressure on yourself you are here in this moment and that's it You can be satisfied with that. Okay, Capricorn, that's the end of this channeled message. I really hope you enjoyed it. I really hope you learned that you can't rush healing, you can't rush happiness. And you don't have to, your life doesn't have to look like another person's. You also, should, you also don't have to depend on social media, external validation. That's all within. Okay, Capricorn, please like, subscribe, support the channel in any way you can. And yeah, bye.